This is the podcast for those people who are vaccine confident and aren't afraid to say it. Your favorite pro-vaccine podcast. This is the podcast for people who love showing off their band-aids on Instagram. My name is Karen Ernst, and I am the Executive Director of Voices for Vaccines. And I'm Nathan Boonstra, a general pediatrician from Blank Children's Hospital in Des Moines, Iowa. She got to talk about to, to uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda's mother about this flu shot parody, this Hamilton parody <laughs> that we did. So then, as uh, circumstances would happen, Dr. Towns Miranda did tweet then uh, the, the, a link to the video and literally said, a must-see uh, for getting your flu shot. So just the fact that this video uh, got a, a glowing review from uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda's mother is just, that just made our day. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce our first guest today. If we immunize 100% of pregnant women with pertussis vaccine, we will prevent 20 babies from dying a year. Oh. If we immunize um, 100% of, of girls and boys from, for, for, with uh, HPV vaccine, we will prevent about 28 to 29,000 cases of cancer and yeah. about 5,000 deaths a year. That is arguably the, our biggest public health embarrassment, that we basically are, are condemning roughly 2,000 children every year, given current immunization rates, to grow up to get a cancer from which they could die. Having watched all this stuff for so many years um, very closely and, and including the story which he makes, you know, he blows up into this thing very closely. I mean, you just see it's incredibly dishonest, this, this whole film. They worked on him for about 35 minutes, could not revive him. Um, so October 18th, I, I lost my healthy five-year-old son to influenza. Oh, well, when you're talking about these, the, the anti-vaccine groups that are coming into the communities and highlighting the fact that it's, it's true. I mean, individuals have the right to refuse any medical treatment they want, including vaccines. And that's their right. They can make the decision. Uh, I think doing it under the guise of informed consent is a bit of a ruse on their part. I think it's something where you can have, you know, more of an immediate impact right I mean you can you can see the effect that um, that herd immunity has on a population and when that drops how many more people are vulnerable to vaccine preventable diseases the essence of Kimberly is basically laughter joy and peace that is really what she's about um, Kimberly was an extremely vibrant compassionate silly funny confident smart high school senior even if it doesn't protect you completely if you happen to get flu despite the vaccine your illness will be milder i have done enough advocacy for vaccines to get a hit piece uh, on age of autism so personally i have although i know we've been pushing to get a hit piece on this on the podcast uh, on the podcast come on age of autism jesus like it's almost like we're not a uh, I, I guess since we're not a uh multi-million dollar funded uh, operation here i guess that's why we're not big enough potatoes to get maybe we noticed. need sound effects maybe that might we turn. could yeah yeah or we could come up with more you know rap parodies all of a sudden, you're like the Bin Laden of America. Osama Bin Laden is the only one who knows what I'm going through. Oh my gosh, I think that's what I think he said that. <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, that's probably also Trump, isn't it? <laughs> no, that was our, that would be funny. That was R. Kelly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone who's listened in, and thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or probably anywhere else you get your podcasts. My name is Karen Ernst. I'm the Executive Director at Voices for Vaccines. You can find us at VoicesForVaccines.org. And I'm Nathan Boonstra. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter at PedsGeekMD or my blog, PedsGeekMD.com.
Thank <laughs> you.